hey everyone welcome to another tutorial and in this video today i will show you how you can create a backup of your wordpress site and use it to restore your site to a previous point where it was perfect working normally in case for example in case your website gets hacked which is very common as wordpress powers almost 50 percent of the websites on web so it is a very lucrative target for hackers to try to hack into your wordpress site and there are a lot of vulnerabilities in plugins themes so a lot of site gets hacked or in second case for example there was uh, any problem with the server and your website broke or you accidentally made some changes you made some new changes or installed a new plugin or install a new theme and your website stopped working so in that case if you have a backup you can use it to restore your site to a previous point where it was working normally so let's start first you have to do is to log into your wordpress admin dashboard for that go to my blog and then click on dashboard and from here go to plugins and from here go to add new and now go to the search bar and search for a plugin updraft and you will see this plugin updraft plus wordpress backup plugin click on install now And after installing the plugin, click on activate. Okay, so now we have installed this Updraft Plus plugin and activated it. So now you will see this instructions. Just click on press here to start. Okay, so now this will show you the tutorial to how to create your first backup just follow this click on backup now in take this option then click on take both this option and then click on backup now okay so this is how simple it is to create a backup of your wordpress website using this plugin so now you can close this tutorial window and now you will see the log message the backup apparently succeeded and is now complete and you will see the time and date now here from here you can see the existing backup and okay so now our man this is the method to take a manual back backup of your wordpress site and now let's learn how to restore this backup okay and here you can also see this backup data contains database plugins themes uploads and other so okay so now to restore restore our website what you have to do? okay for example let's let me delete one of my post okay so this is the post uh, created i will delete it okay and now it doesn't exist here okay so now let's try to restore my site using the backup and see if i can restore that post back go to plugins Okay, now scroll down and locate this updraft plugin and go to settings or alternatively you can also go to settings and from here go to updraft plus back backups uh, this is will be a better method to do it okay so now from uh, here you can see the existing backups and I will and then here you can see the all the available actions restore delete view log so with log if there was any problem in creating this backup you can see that in log to diagnose it so now let's click on restore and from restoring will replace sites theme plugin upload database and or other content directories according to what is contained in the backup 
and your selection choose the components to restore so now I want to restore all this components so I will just take them all you have to take them all okay and then click on next and here you can see backup files have been successfully processed now press restore again to proceed so again click on restore and now this will verify and restore our site has been restored to the backup version so now here from here you will see this restore successful message and an action to return to updraft plus configuration or you can go to the same page from by clicking on this button so click here and now let's see if that post has been restored again so what i will do is go to my website and refresh it okay now as you can see that post has again been restored so this is how you manually take a backup and manually restore your site to a previous point okay so now what we have to learn is how to automate this or schedule this backups see if uh, so that you don't have to manually take this backup every time and you can actually focus on creating content 